Yes, uh, you need to talk to uh, McAllister, uh, Dr. Cooper. Uh, 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 Dr. Curtis, uh, I, I, I need to talk to uh, Aaron uh, uh, You need to talk to uh, McAllister. Why are you talking like this? And you're destroying me. I can't talk to uh, You need to talk to I can't talk With Change Your Voice, Change Your Life, I'm Mort Cooper, your host, and I have John Curtis, a PhD. He's a bright young uh, lad, and he uh, likes to join with me. He thinks it's pejorative, that's a put-down, to appear the way we appeared. Uh, I don't. I think it's uh, very entertaining to show that uh, we can kid around and have a good time. This is the last show we're going to do because uh, uh, this network, uh, Public Access, is going uh, betty by. Uh, John? Uh, Don't you find that ironic that Public Access would be going down the, you know, down the drain that they wouldn't fund that? Because that's the only thing that keeps the public, it keeps these politicians um, legit. I mean, where else can people John, speak the world out? John, the world is going down. What is the title? That you came this up is with, fraud, John, well, the director. The other John, uh, yeah. we credit him with. The other John, fra the director. Fraud in your throat. Fraud, fraud in your throat. Like uh, frog in your throat. Yes. But fraud. But I love fraud in your throat. The whole society is into fraud. Our society is falling apart. It is. It is cratering financially, vocally. I'm the only doctor in the world. I'm sorry to uh, tell you this. Uh, that is reporting cures ongoing for 35 years. I was just up at UC San Francisco on October 18, 2008, and the title was 35 Years of Curing Spasmodic Dysphonia. The strand. You can't talk like that. And the medical profession worldwide, academia, my field, ASHA, uh, says it. Uh, Allegan, the maker of Botox, says, and they guarantee there are no cures of the condition. I've been reporting cures of the strangle voice for over 35 years. Now, the title, I think, is very interesting. Well, what Fraud I, in your throat. These people are talking with a, a bad voice. They're, they're self-fraudulent, and the society. Who's this gentleman? He's a very well-intentioned uh, guy, uh, Bernie L. Madoff. Ber Bernie Madoff. Now, here's a guy that is out there and he's been around for years, and hedge funds have put their money with him, and he's got a great reputation. He was offering an annual return of around 10 percent when everybody else is getting 1 or 2 percent. Mm -hmm. And he had a lot of investors who wanted that 10 percent. Yeah, he only, it said he's only front page New York Times, L.A. Times, Wall Street. He only Times. lost $50 billion What's, of investors' it, money. Yes, but that's nothing. Don't you have a sense of joie de vivre? Look at the federal government. Look what... Uh, what is the fel fellow's name? Henry Paulson. They well, he's, have the, he's the Treasury Secretary. Well, he's handing out money like it, it's going out of style. Well, why don't you get in line for it? You're, I, I you're tried, entitled. I, Maybe you need I a bailout. I, folks, I tried for a bailout, <laughs> but they don't give handouts to lower echelon people. Now, guys like you probably can write up a great, great grant. Now, here's proposal. the here's here's the problem with you know the the scenario right now. They're going to shut off public access, uh -huh. and you think about that out there, public. These are shows that are uncensored. Mm -hmm. These are shows that don't have some minders. They will never saying, get on what national is, television. What it is that you say in this show mm -hmm. would be at your national association. You think about this. And the California Association of Hear Speech and Hearing It would be uh, heresy. heresy. They would not permit this honest, frank, open discussion, would no, they? Because hypocrisy prevails. The word. But then I what happens when hypocrisy. public assets sh shuts they're down? They're saying there are no cures. Uh, I, I have appeared in the American Speech Language Hearing Association four times reporting cures in this association since 1974. In the California Speech Hearing Association, I believe it dates back to 1971, and they banned my ads in uh, my association and in the California Speech Hearing Association. Well, they said your ads were unacceptable. No, they didn't say it's unacceptable. Uh, it's inappropriate for the members of CASHA. No, no, no. They're saying ASHA is saying through its advertising that I guarantee cures. Well, you've never guaranteed cures. No, I, of course not. Why would they say that you've done that if you haven't done it? But they put that in writing, so I but, put it in the book. And the book is out there. Uh, it, it, 
It's called Curing Hopeless Voices. You don't have to spend a cent. It's on but my website. Can you just say, can we say for the record on right. this show, shame on you at the city council for not putting your foot down mm. to a publicly traded corporation to maintain that people who use these cables mm -hmm. right now have some sp space for shows like this to inform the people about things that a major pharmaceutical company or a medical profession or your speech pathology the profession premier, would not allow you to talk about. They've right. banned you. Yes. And why have they banned you? Because you developed a cure for a condition that steps on the toes of a major pharmaceutical company. It steps on the toes of academia. It steps on the toes of the association I'm in, both California Speech yeah. and Hearing Association, American Speech Language Hearing Association. The beginning, uh, I feel my, my compatriot here, uh, John Curtis, was a little uncomfortable. I'm not, because <laughs> that's the sound of people who have the strangled voice, folks. I have a two-hour DVD. I'll give you a deal that you can't turn down. The book, uh, the DVD is very expensive. You have the condition, you can get the two-hour DVD free. Just come to the office, I'll give you the DVD. It shows the before and after cures. Why are the before and after cures, uh, we've talked about this to right. others in your field, unacceptable? Why is it that when you... Because it, the, the Botox company, Allegan, I don't believe loves all natural cures. What I'm doing is called direct voice rehab, folks, and it's all natural. Do you use drugs in your approach? No, I don't use drugs. Do you urge them for towards surgery? Do you recommend that for no, them? No, that's draconic. What, uh, do, what do you do? None with of them? these approaches have ever reported a single cure of the strangled voice. I'm I'm sorry to tell you, it's 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 unbelievable. I'm the only doctor in the world reporting cures of this so-called hopeless and curable condition, and I've been curing patients with this condition, no guarantees of a cure, implied or other, for over 35 years. I figured it out. Did you know that, um, um, you know, the bumper music we're, we were using? Yeah, I love the, I love the, the, the okay. words. What They're, are the words? We don't want your education. No, I don't because either. Because your profession has educated people now to believe there are no cures for spasmodic dysphonia. Right. And we don't want your thought control. Now you think about this. Yes. Why have they prevented you from speaking in behalf of a cure that you discovered 40 years ago for spasmodic dysphonia? And you discovered it inadvertently with serendipitous cure. Yes, that's correct. Why? But that's how discoveries come up. Isn't it possible that the people out there in TV land who would ordinarily watch the show mm. will no longer have the opportunity to hear the truth? From one doctor that's censored and banned that is correct. So nobody told me they were having a hearing on the continuation or discontinuation about these uh, public access cables. Uh, I only knew about it. I only knew about the, me uh, the meeting, reading it in the LA Times the day after the, the hearing. I think the, the bottom line is, for these companies right now, is that they just don't want to fork over the money. It hurts their earnings. Oh, did I, what, what else could it be? Does anybody have any idea why else would they cancel these shows? This only does good for the public, right? 25 years I've been on. Okay, so you know that you've been... Do I use it as a promotional to get referrals? You have, no, no. Isn't it true that the reason why you've done these shows, mm -hmm. there's no other reason, mm -hmm. we don't know what the motives or other people are, mm -hmm. but we know what yours have been, mm -hmm. is to disseminate mm -hmm. unvarnished information about cures of spasmodic dysphonia. To let them know there's choice. It's out there. The there medics don't give them choice. No. The academicians, my field, on its official website, ignores cures. And yet I presented cures four different times at the association I'm in and at the California Speech and Hearing Association. I find it entertaining, if I may tell you, that if you read the book, you'll find out the nitty-gritty on what grounds they ban me running ads in their various publications. Okay. They're, they're so frivolous, it, it's more than a, a funny story. It's a farce. They've banned you. Okay, mm -hmm. now they've banned the messenger service that enables you to get the word out. Yes. Do you have any thoughts or st uh, any uh, ideas of what the powers to be, why they should not be banning public access? 
I think they're making a mistake because there's a percentage of people who do bring enlightenment and a, a fair play. <coughs> fair play. But for one reason or another, um, it doesn't matter. Fraud in your throat. Look at Bur Bur instead of a fraud. Do you know that Madoff? There's a thing called a uh, affinity. Have you heard of that before? No. Okay. Madoff used the fact that he was Jewish mm -hmm. and his contacts with Jewish charitable organizations mm -hmm. to invite them to invest with him. He was returning 10% on an mm -hmm. annual basis. Now, what happened is a lot of people started to pull out of mutual funds. Mm -hmm. Recently. Right? Well, I mean, since the market started crashing. Yes, recently. Yeah. And but as Madoff a consequence, they asked him for years. Yes, they asked him for the cash. They mm -hmm. wanted to liquidate their investments. Yes. And he said, there's no cash. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? And it's Mad only fifty billion. He said. Do you know what Madoff? Do you know that he's free on a bond mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. Do you know how much money he posted for himself? They had him post a bond of ten million dollars. Do you know that that's only one million dollars cash to him? He's mm -hmm. a billionaire. Do you know that's a drop in the bucket? Why shouldn't a man who has been able to <laughs> run a fund, a hedge whatever, fund, whatever it is? and lose 50 billion. Why are you finding fault with the man? I don't understand why you're critical. Why are the newspapers all in a frenzy? Folks, it's only 50 billion. We've just, the, the government is just funding everything now. They're dropping money out of the, the sky for the, the top people that created the problem to begin with. Yes, What's wrong yes, with that? And they're all getting their money back. They're, they're all and, get, getting bonuses. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Curtis, why do you find fault look, with this? Look, this is no different than, uh, do you remember the book Candide? Of course. Okay, this is Dr. Penglos. And tell them who Dr. Penglos was. This is, the, this is the protagonist in the story, and he's going around, and he says, is this the best of all possible worlds? Is this not the best? And it, is this not right the best? Right in the back of Dr. Penglos, was, which was a takeoff on a philosopher named Leibniz, uh, a whole background of dismembered bodies and he called the speaker Dr. Penglos so it comes down through history uh, it's hilarious uh, Henry Paulson says this is the best way to give money out uh, one approach fails another approach fails uh, we have Benaki who's dropping money th out of the sky he's making money they're making money. Yeah, they're, no, he's they're, not they're making it. He's, he, he's printing money he's printing at the money. Office of Printing and Engraving. So we have a chance to get hyperinflation. They got Paul Volcker in there now. He was the guy that curbed hyperinflation over 20-plus years ago. He's also so they're the getting guy that, ready to have hyperinflation. He's also the guy, by the way, Volcker, who sent the country into a horrendous depression, a recession mm -hmm. that lasted for years. Well, that took care of the, the hyperinflation. Well, that's what he wants to do this time around. No, this time again. we're not in hyperinflation right now. No, but I mean, if we, we're follow, Vol if money. we follow Volcker's advice, this country right now, I mean, for Obama to be using an 80 year old, an octogenarian mm -hmm. who's a complete has been mm -hmm. with respect to his knowledge of the economy and what makes this well, you're country a, tick you're right against, now. You're a pejorative. Look, we need to get money he's flowing. down on a guy who's 81 years of age. And I'm approaching that age, and he's very critical of me when I tell him to watch where he's driving, he's going to hit a car. <laughs> what could I tell you? Look, I, we have a situation where you're not going to be able to disseminate this information anymore, and this is very valuable. Does it make there's a people difference out there who, in our society? There's people out there who cannot talk right now. They cannot speak. They've lost they 